guys, Miss Mandy with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library and I'm bringing you another STEM video. Today, we're gonna talk about Bernoulli's Principle. What is that? Have you ever wondered how a plane flies? Well, the main reason is because of the wings, okay? Now, like a bird wing, an airplane's wing is rounded in the front and it tapers or gets smaller and gets pointy towards the end. If you want to think about it like a bird wing, you have the top of their wing and then the feathers hang down. So it's rounded where their arm starts and then the feathers go down and taper into a nice little point. Well, airplane wings do this too. And there's a reason they're built this way. Now, all around you all the time, air is putting pressure on your body. It's called air pressure. But because air is always putting pressure on your body, you don't notice it because it's always there. Your body's just used to it. So since there's always pressure in the air around you, what a wing does is it divides the air and causes some of the air to flow over the top and some of the air to flow underneath the wing. Now the top of a wing is a little bit rounded and the reason is to make that air move faster going over the top than underneath. Now what this does is fast moving air causes less air pressure, okay? So if there's less pressure on the top and more pressure underneath, think if you were trying to push something over and you just put a little pressure on it, it might not move. But then if you put a lot of pressure on it, you like pushed it, it would move. So that's sort of the same thing. Going over the top of the wing, there's a little bit of air pressure, but underneath, there's a lot of pressure. So what it does is it pushes on that wing and lifts the plane off the ground, okay? So that's why planes have to go down a runway and reach a certain speed before they finally lift off the ground because that pressure, the air pressure under that wing has to get to a certain point to be enough to push it up off the ground. And that's called lift, okay? Now we're gonna do something a little fun with that. Oh, and the reason that's called Bernoulli's Principle is because an 18th century mathematician named Bernoulli was observing bird flight one day in Switzerland and realized that this is probably how this works and he named it after himself. So the Bernoulli's Principle. Now you can actually do a really fun experiment at home and create your own version of Bernoulli's principle. You're going to need a hair dryer, okay? It's also good if it has a cool setting because you don't want to burn your fingers because you're going to have to stick it in the airflow, okay? So it's probably on medium or hot. You want to click it down to cool, okay? Or cold. Mine says cold, although it's not that cold. All right, so you want a hair dryer on the cool setting and a ping pong ball. If you don't have a ping pong ball, you can buy them in a bunch of places. So they're not that expensive. So ping pong ball, hair dryer, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is turn it on high. I have to say this first, because you may not be able to hear me. I'm gonna turn it on high in one, and turn it upside down like this. So it's on high in this stream of air. <laughs> My, that's Kira, she, she's really wanting this ping pong ball. So in this stream of air, you want to place your ping pong ball as far into the center of that air as you can before you let go of it. Because what we want to do, if it's in the center, then all of that air should go equally all the way around the ping pong ball. That's what we want. Okay, we're going to give it a try. You ready? Here we go. All the way to high. Now, 
why does that work? This isn't shaped like a wing, it's a ball. It's a ping pong ball. Well, the reason it works, I have another little diagram here. The air that flows out of a hair dryer, okay? If you get the ball in the middle of it and the air goes equally all the way around it, well, the air from the hair dryer is moving a lot faster than the still air in this room. So the still air in the room has more pressure than the air shooting up out of that hair dryer because it's booking it coming out of there. So therefore, the air pressure outside of that stream of air is pushing against this flow of air which keeps the ping pong ball in that airflow. That's why I can turn it. Now don't jerk it because if you turn it too fast, your ping pong ball is going to go flying. So, but when you tilt it, that's why the ping pong ball follows it. So a fun experiment might be to see how far before it finally just shoots off. That's going to have a lot to do with gravity. Gravity's always pulling that ping pong ball down. Gravity wants everything on the floor. As the gravity is pulling down, the air is shooting it up. So if you get too far to the side, gravity's going to win. All right, so this is still Bernoulli's principle, even though it doesn't look like a wing. Now that works because this air is moving faster than the outside. What happens as I drop my ping pong ball? I have another one. <laughs> what happens if you put this into the stream of air as well? I don't know, something cool might happen. All right, we'll get another ping pong ball. My cat is happy now. All right, so ping pong ball, hair dryer, cool. Here we go. This is gonna be exciting. stream of air. That stream of air is moving pretty quick. But when we introduce the toilet paper roll or craft tube, whatever you want to call it, when you hold that over the ping pong ball and start to get closer and closer and closer, make sure this is in your stream of air. As you get closer to the ping pong ball, the air going around it and up goes into an even tighter space and it forces it even faster. So the air moves faster through this than it did around the ping pong ball, which causes it to shoot up through it. Super cool. Again, Bernoulli's principle. Okay, let's try it one more time, because why not? It's super fun. Now here we go. Get this in your stream of air before your toilet paper roll. with a floating ping pong ball. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.